I'm Alex, I'm a train driver, and this is how to get my job. Come on through. A typical day for me involves starting, finishing here every day, Flinders Street Station. I go upstairs, I find out my shift for the day, I get my notices. Sure thing, thanks. From there, it could be anything. I could be jumping straight on a train, heading towards the mountains or the sea. When I was a young kid, I had a strong interest in trams, and then later we moved near trains, and then I developed an interest in trains. Ever since then, I've always wanted to have a chance driving a train, and I never really thought it would happen, but here we are, I'm living the dream. So the train that I'll be driving for the next hour has just pulled in. I'm just gonna go set it up, do my safety checks, and we'll be on our way. So we're on our way to Sandringham now. Look at all these tracks, by the way. Every single one of these tracks has a name. And as a train driver, I have to know the name of each track. If I had to name as many stations as I possibly could in 20 seconds, well, here I go. South Morang, Epping, Laylor, Thomastown, Keon Park, Ruffin, Reservoir, Regent, Preston, Bell, Thornbury, Croxton, Northcote, Mary, Rushall, Clifton Hill, Victoria Park, Collingwood, North Richmond, West Richmond, Jollymont, Flinders Street, Richmond, East Richmond, Burnley, Hawthorne, Glen Ferry, Auburn, Camberwell, East Camberwell, Canterbury, Chatham, Surrey Hills, Montalbert, Box Hill, Laburnum, Blackburn. My biggest day-to-day -day challenge as a train driver is keeping on time. You have lots of people getting on your train, sometimes cities worth, at one station. And you can't speed to make up for lost time. Safety is everything. One thing people ask me a lot as a train driver is, why do you have to sound the horn so much? And the reason for that is trains are heavy, they're very hard to stop, so we are required by law to sound the horn a lot. Something that might surprise you about my job is that I had to spend six months in the classroom before I even touched a train. My favourite thing about my job is helping people, helping thousands of people a day. The other things I really enjoy about my job are just playing with all the different types of trains and getting paid to go down past the beach or up into the mountains. My top three tips for becoming a train driver are, number one, get customer service experience. Number two, it really helps if you're passionate about public transport and trains. Number three, I'd say get some experience getting up to an alarm clock at all sorts of weird times of the day. Good afternoon everyone. The next and final stop for this train is Flinders Street. Change at Flinders Street for Southern Cross and City Loop services. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you out on the tracks.